Hello and welcome to an introduction to library services. My name is Alessia. I'm one of the librarians here at the McGill University Health Center and I'll be telling you everything you need to know about the libraries on each site today. By the end of our time together you'll have an idea of what services and resources are available to you from the libraries and how to access them. We'll go through literature searches, so quick searches, reference questions to regular or comprehensive searches. Um, we'll do uh, knowledge synthesis, so scoping, rapid, and systematic reviews. Search alerts that we can set up at a time frame that suits you. For example, every month we can send you an updated list of results on a given topic. There's also a nursing continuing education search alert that you can sign up for via our website. For teaching, we give workshops and trainings for databases and citation management software. Interlibrary loans for articles that are not part of our collection and our book collection, which I'll show you how to access the MUHC and McGill book collections via our website. All the resources and services I'll talk about today, as well as many others, are detailed on our website, muhclibraries.ca. You can also scan the code on the screen. Bookmarking this will ensure you have access to the resources you need right at your fingertips, right on our front page. So there's no need to navigate the McGill website for the McGill resources. It's a great one-stop shop to accessing everything you need quickly. For the medical libraries on all sites, your MUHC ID should be visible at all times. And we have libraries on three sites. So the Glenn site, the Montreal General Hospital, and the Montreal Neurological Institute. So let's get started with the McConnell Resource Center at the Glenn site. So the space is separated into two spaces, the medical library, which is photographed here, and the patient resource center, which is for patients, their family members, and loved ones, and the general public. The medical library space is open to all MUHC employees, so McGill medical students, residents, fellows, and anyone with an MUHC ID card. Pictured on the left is the front entrance, located right next to the security desk on the main floor, which leads directly into the patient resource center. And on the right is the entrance to the medical library for staff. It's, between the, it's in the hallway between the Montreal Children's Hospital and the Royal Victoria Hospital. The back entrance is unlocked between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m., but you'll be able to scan your ID card on the card reader and access the space 24-7. We have documentation technicians and librarians ready to assist you on site from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We have individual study spaces, computer workstations, and a collection of physical and e-books available to you. And to book a conference room at the library site at the Glen, you may reserve the space through our booking platform available on our website. So I'll show you that. If we go to About, Group Study Rooms, if we scroll down to the Glen Medical Library, we can book the room online where you'll be able to see the available spaces in green and the reserved spaces in red. So let's move on to the Montreal General Hospital. The space is exclusive to anyone with an MUHC ID card, so employees, medical students, residents, fellows. If your card does not work or you don't have access, please email idcards at muhc.mcgill.ca and CC your manager for any changes. You can also ask the security to let you in once you show them your ID. Walk through the original doors to the MGH from 1821 to enter the library where you'll find study spaces, computer stations, books, and a documentation technician or a librarian to assist you if you need it. Like the Glenn site, the space is accessible 24-7 and the staffed hours are from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. There is a collection of physical books, including the MGH Historical Collection, available to you. You may consult the Historical Collection on site, so please ask um, someone for assistance. We have a training room and a conference room at the library. To reserve a conference room, you may ask the librarian or documentation technician on site. Let's move on to the neuro. The space is available to MUHC staff, McGill students, residents, fellows, and anyone with an MUHC ID card. The space is available 24-7, but if the doors are locked, you can ask security to open them for you. The space is currently shared with the day center, so please look for the signs. The library is to the right of the space. Like the Glen and MGH, the staffed hours are Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, where there is a librarian ready to assist you. You may still access the reserve collection 24-7. The Rasmussen Room provides a quiet room with study spaces and computer workstations. The Neuro houses 
um, the Dr. Penfield collection, which contains Dr. Penfield's personal collection, as well as several books authored by him. We also have a historical collection available for consultation on site. Please ask a librarian for assistance. So as a recap to all the services available on all of the sites, all of the sites are open 24-7 with your MUHC ID card and it must be visible at all times. The libraries are staffed Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., so please feel free to ask us any questions while we are around. We have books and study spaces that you may use, and you may borrow laptops, use our computers, and print in the library. For printing, please ask us for assistance. So patient privacy and confidentiality is very important. The libraries are public spaces, so please be mindful of what you leave on your screens. If you're using one of our computers, it's good practice and a good habit to lock your computer and sign out. If you need to step out for a call, take a walk, go have a bite to eat, we should maintain confidentiality and privacy at all times. Now that we've covered the basics, here's how the libraries can help you. If you're working on research projects and literature reviews, you'll have to search databases for journal articles. If you're new to this, you can attend one of our trainings or have a librarian do it for you. I'll go over a selection of databases relevant to the health sciences field that you might encounter, and you have access to the McGill and MUHC versions of these databases via our website. So we have Medline, which is a health sciences database, which contains journal articles, PubMed Central books. Um, it's predominantly North American in scope, and it's accessible via the platforms Ovid and PubMed. There's Embase, which is a health sciences and pharmacology database, which contains journal articles, conference abstracts, and more. And this is international in scope. There's the Cochrane Library, which has systematic reviews about interventions, diagnostics, test accuracy, and methodology reviews. It also has the Cochrane Central Register for Controlled Trials, which is updated monthly. Web of Science is a multidisciplinary database, so it has sciences, social sciences, arts, and humanities. It also contains journal citation reports and impact factors. Scopus is similar to Web of Science in that it's multidisciplinary um, and you can also do citation tracking and has conference abstracts. And there is CINAHL, which is the Cumulated Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature. So it's a nursing and allied health professionals database and it also contains evidence-based care sheets. We regularly offer workshops on how to search Medline via Ovid or via PubMed. The database is the same, but the way to access them is different and the interfaces have different functions. PubMed is public Medline and is free to use, but it doesn't have all the same searching functions as Medline via Ovid. For example, in Ovid, you can create an account to be able to save your searches directly in the interface and run them whenever you want, and you can edit your search strategy, whereas in PubMed, you can't do that. They each have their functions, so sign up for a workshop to learn more. You'll learn how to convert your question into an effective search strategy and use Mesh to find relevant articles on your topic, among other things. We also offer workshops on how to use EndNote bibliographic management software. EndNote is used to save and organize references from your literature search and create bibliographies and cite references in Word. And you can also do more things. If you have any other database or citation management software you would like to learn, let us know and we can organize a training with you. Or if you have a group of people who would like to join, we can organize that as well. For example, if you would like a training on using Embase or CINAHL or Zotero, we can do that. To sign up, you can go to our website. So I'll show you how to get to it. Under Training and Guides, we can go to Classes and Workshops. In the upcoming, we can see the upcoming workshops. So we have English and French for EndNote, English and French for PubMed, English and French for Medline via Ovid. And if you have a specific training that you would like to request, you can fill out the form at the bottom of the page. So you've attended trainings, you're searching, but you're still not getting satisfying results. Come and see us or send us an email. If you've spent more than an hour working on just the search portion, it's time to see a librarian. We can help you figure out what you can do better and we can even do the search for you. It's best to come and meet to discuss the search and make sure you give us enough time. We can also schedule a virtual appointment with a librarian via our website. We can do the search and send you the list of results for you to screen. So I'll show you that on the website. On the quick links under the MUHC tab, we can look at the search request form. You can fill out the form with your information and the first librarian that is available will be in touch. For librarian help, we can go under the searching tab, ask a librarian. We can see a list of all of the librarians. We can click the button schedule an appointment. 
and you'll see all the availabilities so you can choose a time that works for you. Search alerts can be helpful if you want to keep up to date on the literature on a given topic, or maybe you would like to join a journal club that discusses the most recent literature. We can start with a literature search on your topic using an appropriate database, and then we can set up an automatic alert to send us new results at any frequency you'd like, whether monthly, every two weeks, or weekly. We can either automatically forward you the results from the database, or we can mediate the search. Sometimes there will be irrelevant results for your topic that get retrieved, so we can go through the results and only send you the ones that are relevant to what you're looking for. If you're using a citation management software like EndNote or Zotero, we can have a collaborative library where we can add the results, or we can send the results in a Word document with links to be able to access the articles via our library, McGill, or through interlibrary loan. So there's two ways we can access this. The first is in the MUHC Quick Links. There's the CE resources for MUHC nurses, which we can click. You can sign up to be notified when new articles are published on this link. And there's a few things that we can browse on the site here. Or we can go to the tab E resources, continuing education resources for MUHC nurses. And there's a little bit more information that you're free to look at. If you come across an article or a book that is not part of ours or McGill's collection and you'd like to obtain it, you can use our interlibrary loan service where we'll send a request to external libraries to see who has the item. The loan for books is three weeks from the time that we receive the book at the library and there is no loan period for articles. The service is free to use, but it's possible that if there are a large number of articles being requested or if the article is rare and only available through a library that charges a large amount, there might be fees. To give you an idea, we'll usually ask our users to limit interlibrary loan requests to 20 per week. If there are fees for your request or articles, we'll always contact you to ask if you're still interested before sending out the request. If you know the information for the article or book that you want to request, you can send an email to the library. All the information can be found on our website. So I'll show you how to request a book or an article that you know about. Under borrow, request, or renew, we can request articles or books. And we can scroll down for more information and you can request a journal article via this link or request a book or book chapter via this link. Or if you're searching through a database and come across an article where you would like the full text but it's unavailable, you can request it directly through the database. The button to get the full access will look different whether you're using MUHC or McGill Access. If you have McGill Access and you'd like to ask us instead of going through McGill's interlibrary loan service, we can do that as well. Just send us the title and authors and we can submit the request for you. So the link on the left-hand side is what the MUHC access button will look like, and the right-hand side is what the McGill access button will look like. For factual information or overviews of broad topics, we turn to textbooks for the answers. You can search the contents of a large number of textbooks at the same time by using electronic book collections available through McGill, like Access Medicine and Clinical Key. McGill also has some of their eBooks through ProQuest. To locate individual, electronic, or print textbooks, use the MUHC catalog or the McGill Library catalog, both accessible on our library website homepage. At the MUHC, we recently started lending out our reserve collection, so rather than having to consult the book only on site, you can now take it out as a regular loan. However, if someone else requests the book, you will have to return it. We also try to keep books that McGill doesn't already have, so the collection at McGill and the collection at the MUHC sites will be different. Our eBooks are available through the EBSCO and Ovid platforms. So I'll show you how to access the book collection on our website. So there's a few ways that we can access them. On the McGill side, if you want to access Access Medicine or Clinical Key, there's links in the Quick Links tab under the McGill side. There's also the tabs in the middle of the page for MUHC e-journals and print journals, MUHC books, so you can type in any sort of search that you would like to do. Heart transplant. And it'll show you a list of results. This one comes in an e-book, so you should be able to click it and be able to access it right on this page. For McGill's you can do the same search and it'll bring you to the McGill catalog. For citation management and other useful resources, we have EndNote, which is available through McGill if you have a username and password. It can also be purchased through your MUHC department. And EndNote is used to save and organize your references, create bibliographies, and cite references directly in Word. 
Zotero is a similar software, but it's freely available. You can save and organize your references, create bibliographies, and cite references directly in Word. And then there's Ryan, which is used to organize and manage collaborative systematic reviews. You can use it to screen and select articles to include in your review. It comes as a mobile app, and there's free versions and paid versions. If you have questions about copyright, contact your copyright librarian at McGill. So this is for medical students, residents, and any affiliations with McGill. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any other comments or questions, please come and see us at any of the sites or send us an email. We're happy to work with you.